Chris Redd, who co-stars on the Netflix sitcom Disjointed, and Luke Knoll, an improviser who has performed in several shows at EO Theatre with the musical comedy troupe The Deltons, both join SNL as featured players. There is a sweet irony to Red landing the job. One year ago, a single blog reported a rumor that he had been hired on SNL when that wasn't the case, putting Red in an awkward spot. I didn't want my career messed up because some blogger pushed send too quick, Red told me. And the dude wouldn't take down the post, so it ended up spreading and spreading. This time out, news of his hiring is legit. An alum of EO Theatre, the annoyance in Second City, Red is a Chicago native who originally wanted to be a rapper. It was only after seeing a commercial for Second City's 50th anniversary in 2009 that he thought, well, maybe I'm funny. He told me. So I went and signed up for a class, and that was eight years ago and now we're here. He also co-starred in the Andy Samberg music industry mockumentary pop star, Never Stop Never Stopping. Null has a musical background as well, and musical comedy is his sweet spot, including a folk song posted on YouTube that at first appears to be a commentary on the 2016 presidential election. The chorus reveals otherwise as he sings, Clay Aiken shoot a one season and two of American Idol. Null, who is originally from Ohio, has been in Chicago for three years and also performed at the Annoyance in the Dead Boy Scout musical last year. On the writing side, Gary Richardson has joined the staff. He is an alum of EO, performing with the first-rate all-African-American improv team Three Pete and The Annoyance. For the past couple of years Richardson has been based in New York, where he was named one of Brooklyn Magazine's 50 Funniest People in 2016. When asked by the magazine about his career goals, he replied, I'd love to get to a place where I'm working with the funniest people in the world and I'm funnier than all of them. Also added as a writer is Stephen Castillo, who took classes at EO and appeared in several independent shows there before moving to law.